like doesn't matter. Or, uh, like a, yeah, yeah. A, a quicker intro, just my name's Rennie Foster. I don't, right, right. You know what I mean? Uh, my name's Rennie Foster from Vancouver, Canada. Um, I own the label RF, and this is The Passenger, who's an artist on my label. And we were doing a first run, first try at the MX1 era piece and um, from Roland and set up some gear and jammed out and made a pretty cool track. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, RF is a techno house music, uh, every style, it's just my style which is a um, kind of a blend of all kinds of different uh, electronic music but really on like a very raw underground sort of tip. The first piece of gear that I ever got was a drum machine that I rented, um, which was an R8, Roland R8 drum machine. This would have been quite a long time ago. Um, I had the groove box, uh, this, the 303, and I used to sequence a lot of gear on it. I made my first record with that, and then I uh, made my second record uh, with an MC505. I'd moved up and also had quite a bit of gear, samplers and, and different, anything I could get my hands on. work out a jam at something that I'm into, try some changes. So when I'm thinking about a tool, I'm thinking more uh, in the studio, in a studio sense. I think for a live electronic person like the passenger, this would be crazy for, um, you know, uh, controlling a live PA. I also think as a studio tool it's going to be really powerful in my setup once I get to know it more. You know, 
far as, as as far as my thoughts on it, I, I mean, I love the bus compression and how easy it was to set up audio from USB and how fast it clocked everything. So making that the master clock yeah. for the rest of the machines was really simple. Working on patterns specifically, uh, maybe with, with yeah, with the System One or with uh, other gear. Yeah, yeah. Um, with that function in mind to make just crazy patterns. Totally. Yeah. I can imagine uh, coming up with a lot of arrangements based based on scenes and uh, mutes and jamming with the effects and with the machines and with this, then recording it in and taking some of those best parts and doing a more refined arrangement in my DAW. If you have any interest in sequen sequencing a bunch of gear uh, on, a, on something you can manipulate that isn't your DAW, then this is this, this is the way to do it, I think. <laughs> 